Hey, what up YouTube? Uh, in this video, I'm going to actually explain to you how I fixed my problem, which I've spent hours on trying to fix. And the problem is there is a desyncing issue between my video and audio source. It's got nothing to do with my camera or my microphone. I'm not trying to increase any delays. The problem is in the capture, the game capture through a capture card. So if you use a video input capture source in your OBS or uh, or your Streamlabs OBS, so it's called video capture device to stream something off a capture card, you may sometimes for no reason at all suddenly get a desyncing. So what actually happens is you'll hear the game sound about a second after the actions completed from a, uh, when you see it completed. Now it is normal for all capture cards to have some sort of delay, but for it to desync is really weird. It would just be a pain in the ass to have to make the video delayed to the same amount as so that it goes back in sync with the audio. So right now I've actually fixed the problem and I can't create the problem again until it happens randomly out of nowhere. So you'll see that when I start playing around with my switch, there is no delay. You can hear all the sounds. Let me just put that a bit louder. So it, it's pretty much immediate. The uh, When this problem happens, when I, whenever I perform an action, I press the A button or I, you know, I scroll around, there's about a one second delay in the audio. Now this problem only exists if you have your audio, your game audio or your, whatever you're capturing come through the desktop. It won't really affect you if you have uh, your OBS software capturing the audio directly. So if you have it capturing from here or if you set up a so a separate audio input capture, it won't affect you. The only difference is you won't be able to hear the game. So I sometimes like to play the game on the software itself, even though it's not as um, not not as responsive. I must say, uh, I do that because it's convenient. It, I don't have to have a separate screen to play a game. So I use the desktop audio, then I can hear the actual game while playing through the Streamlabs software itself. Uh, the problem is uh, from time to time, I have this desyncing issue where the audio comes after the game. Now there's been a lot of suggestions about you can go to the desktop, desktop audio um, cog bar and go to properties to remove the device timestamp. So I've done that and it didn't fix it for me. The thing that actually fixed it for me on a Windows 10 PC and I'm going to show you now is to go to your volume mixer. So actually go to sound settings, right click on your speaker icon there, go to your open sound settings and you'll see this thing that pops up. Then what you're going to do at this point is scroll down to manage sound devices and scroll down to input devices. So what your computer recognizes as a source for the uh, audio. So your capture card should show up here. Mine's the Elgato HT60S audio. So it's the audio portion of the input. Simply disable it re-enable it and your problem should be solved if you're having the same problem as I am, the video audio desyncing issue. Not a lot of people, in fact, I've never seen anybody describe this uh, solution. So hopefully this helps you out. It did bug me for the longest time how to fix this. Oh, and if you have any questions about this, you can uh, leave it in the comments section below or come join me on my Discord channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave me a like and a comment if it helped. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video.